Here in Kenya, they have one of the highest rates of mobile banking in the world. But me being here a Luddite from Canada, I have to spend a fair bit of time standing in front of ATM machines in order to get cash. One of the things I was wondering while listening to the sound of the ATM machine spooling and preparing the cash before it delivers it through that front slot is if the sound that it makes as the money and bills float around through the rotators is standardized. Meaning, can you actually guess how much money someone is taking out simply based on the sound of how long the cash machine spools cash for? Well, I would assume that you actually couldn't. I thought that this would have been a standardized duration regardless on the number of bills retrieved. But the quick experiment I did actually shows that the length of that sound is proportional to the amount of bills retrieved. So first, I took one bill out, and that produced noise for about two seconds, and then took 40 bills out, and that made noise for 12 seconds. Here, I'll just play a quick example. So why is this important? I think twofold. First, there is a certain amount of privacy which you would like to have that the person standing in line uh, can't determine how much money you're taking out based on how long the ATM is making sound. Or if the ATM is behind a wall and you allegedly have privacy of the wall, you can still hear uh, the sound of the ATM through that wall. And this would be useful, one, just for general privacy, and two, if you actually were a criminal and were trying to figure out who you should rob, you could deduce this in some ways based on the uh, length of the cash spooling. I think it's not hard to fix this problem. This is obviously someone who's never made an ATM machine before, but um, essentially you could put placeholder bills in one of the slots in the ATM machine. It could be built with a dedicated placeholder bill slot. And when the number of bills requested was short of the standard number of bills uh, typically spooled at the maximum spooling, uh, then it would pull from the placeholder bills to continue the sound. And these bills would cycle back into the placeholder bill uh, slot. So they would never obviously be dispensed out to the customer. Now, there are some downsides in that the rotators and will have slightly more wear and tear by passing these placeholder bills through the device. And potentially, the other question is, you know, do criminals actually ever listen to how long the ATM machine was operating when selecting their victim? I'm not sure. One other quick criticism is that potentially some machines can pull different types of denominations. And therefore, in some cases, people may request a high denomination to withdraw, but it would take larger bills, and therefore the total amount of time spent might actually be less. But from my experience here and using other ATMs, typically it's just maybe one primary bill in the machine often stocked. And so it is, from my perspective, reasonably straightforward to know roughly how much was taken out based on the time the ATM machine uh, spools for. On the online uh, blog post on gregorishma.ca, there's actually a bunch of very interesting videos on the inside and inner workings of ATM machines, which I uh, recommend you check out.